welcome welcome you all good evening again for the third season of the my teacher program the biggest classroom of the uae so we were with some of the contents we were uh, doing in the first term now uh, after vacation all of you are uh, in tune with your studies i hope but today there is a it's a today to in fact to all of you it's a very special day and we are fortunate to begin this third season of my teachers program today itself you know as you all know we were eagerly waiting for the nobel prize peace for, uh, prize for um, uh, uh, there were so many nominations and today all of you know that two from our uh, uh, what is it two people uh, malala yousaf and uh, yousafai and uh, uh, kailesh satyarthi those two people came up with a nobel prize peace prize because it's every why i mention at this point of time is because all of you can be really proud of it because it's all purely concerned or connected to you my dear students as you know malala yousafai is one of the activists came up and from your group okay i will start today's session with a beautiful quote by malala yousafai from pakistan please have a look at the quote he she has uh, said one child one teacher and one book and one pen can change the world see what a nice thought it is so in fact today to begin today's session i thought of sharing these views or these uh, thoughts with you because it's all very relevant to our program at the same time we have like india indians and pakistan two neighbors we have got two people uh, as uh, with a nobel prize winner this year this is again a very good message as far as the peace process between india and pakistan is concerned so let's hope for the best with that thought we will begin today's session of my teacher the biggest classroom of the ua so again let me congratulate both the two bo both of them who have uh, uh, you who came up as the nobel prize uh, winners of this year we have every reason to be proud of it both of us from the two neighboring countries uh, where uh, we are always looking for a unison okay so let's come to the real picture of what has been going to be there today those who are not much familiar with this program let me tell you a few points about this we are basically focusing on the board examinations going to be there for the indian curriculum students in the uae this is your program of course this is a live program if you have got any sort of queries you are uh, very welcome to ask in live at the same time you will be able to mail us also and uh, the uh, answers to them we will be able to tell you in the next session so we'll have other subjects as well but you know uh, at this small point today my i think of doing some contents of optics from 12th grade and in fact uh, optics all of you know it's a study of light so light is a form of wave wave with energy what kind of waves these light rays are you know today as i told you when we talk about 12 standard content optics you know it's a very big topic big chapter there's got two sections ray optics and wave optics and it carries uh, more weightage so my thinking is not to elaborate with the contents one by one instead i will give you the overall picture of the chapter optics and some extra stuff related to that that is what exactly required and this program definitely you can make use of especially those who are not able to go for any extra coaching or uh, those who are finding really difficult to cope up with so you can definitely make use of these sessions 
and uh, as I mentioned at the beginning, it's your program and you have to make use of it. The constructive criticisms and uh, creative uh, uh, activities related to asking questions and all definitely will help you to improve the program to that extent. So, with that note, let me begin. I will just first show this I was mentioning about the uh, content optics of grade 12. Optics, study of light, light is a form of waves, right? And light is a form of energy in general, right? By the way, can we, uh, there is usually, it is an interesting question, can we see light? We say visible light, can we see light? You may say, okay, there is light, here there is light, light is there everywhere. So, in fact, when you talk about light, it is like, you know, uh, when we talk about, uh, when we say, you know, uh, you, might have, uh, you might be familiar with this uh, term like God is omnipresent, that way light also is. But you will not be able to, we can feel the presence of light, even if you are not seeing. Then what do we see here? What do we see there? There is a bulb, there is a, a tube light. What do these are? Or what do these represent? Are they light? They are not light. This is a bulb. This is a source of light, another source of light. But therefore, what is light? Light is not a, not exactly visible, but it makes the objects visible. So, we will feel the presence of, uh, of uh, light by seeing the objects. So, what do we see? We see the objects, not the light. So, can you now say a proper definition for light? Light is a and wide perspective we can say why light is a form of energy which makes the objects visible it by itself it is invisible but it makes the objects visible right it is interesting now so uh, as i said uh, it is a form of wave there are so many different types of waves around us you know we cannot uh, what is escape from any sort of waves that right? you cannot live uh, in a place where there are no waves you know, when if you are in a, re, in a place where uh, Wi-Fi is connected, Wi-Fi is there, then there are waves. There is a source of light, there are infrared radiations, microwaves, right? There is visible light. All these are waves only, sound waves, even if not, not electromagnetic, there are waves. So, let us see what all different types of waves we have around us. We will just have a look at uh, a small video, which will show you the if about different types of waves. So, in general, so many uh, types of waves, but at the same time, we will focus on to the light waves. We will come back to that, but first let us see a small video. Watch. Watch the video. So, this is electromagnetic wave, you can see. Electromagnetic wave has got electric field and magnetic field. So, this combined electric and magnetic fields together is what is an electromagnetic wave. So, what we are going to study that is about light is part of electromagnetic wave. Another type of wave format we can say convection currents that is also wavy thing only. Just have a look at this convection currents you might have studied in grade 11 that is uh, when heat is supplied the molecules are rising and it is circulating there are waves you know you must be familiar with convection currents inside the earth convection currents in ocean which is also called ocean currents All right, this is again another type of waves we can say right that is about convection currents now black body emission which you might have uh, yeah you have studied in 11 standard black body emission so depending upon the temperature of the body the see as the temperature increases you do remember the concept you studied that wien's displacement law as the temperature increases the wavelength that is it gives out will be shifted to the short wavelength side you know so that is the temperature is it keeps on increasing that is what is shown in the video then what else is next type of wave you see em absorbance you just watch the video you can see different different electromagnetic waves you studied this in the chapter electromagnetic waves you know radio waves there microwaves infrared rays visible light then ultraviolet right then uh, x rays gamma rays again how sound waves will travel through gas liquids and gases you can clearly make out from this video this section right that is again you can see that all right. So, then next section again you can see stimulated emission stimulated emission is what is uh, actually related to 
the, uh, the making of laser. You know, laser. What, what does laser mean? Light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. This is another process whereby the electromagnetic waves or light is emitted. Okay, so that is about stimulated emission. The next one we will see that is about uh, what I, what is what you are seeing is stimulated emission. Then again, emission of alpha, beta, gamma radiation. Uh, that is again another process. We can see that also. Just watch it. Okay, this is again process of it is a nuclear process you can see in the nucleus from the nucleus the emission of alpha the, when will it emit alpha beta gamma radiations when there is instability when the nucleus becomes unstable it gives out radiations okay that is what you can make out using uh, this concept of uh, emission right alpha beta gamma radiations okay that i think you might have watched this then what well, last one radiation penetration that also is something which you have to understand that is you can see alpha beta gamma radiations when pass through different surfaces alpha is stopped by a sheet of paper you know a sheet of aluminum stops beta and a concrete block is what is required for stopping or controlling gamma radiations okay so the, by that we will move on to the contents okay yes so i hope you have watched this video it's a uh, something related to different types of waves around us. But why I saw this video is because you know there are different different types of waves of which one of them that is light waves which are definitely part of electromagnetic waves we are going to study. You know in this year that is in 12th grade you have to study certain phenomena that is exhibited by light. So, in today's session in fact I will divide it into this many segments. First, I will just brief you or I will show you certain uh, what is say observations about the phenomena exhibited by light, different phenomena. What all phenomena you are going to learn from this grade 12? That is one section I will tell you. Then I will show you some equations related to this chapter. Then I will explain a few things about the important questions that can come for the board exams. Okay, so, according to the availability of time we can cover up again we will be again meeting next week so that we will be able to even continue with the, uh, the discussion of optics so by the time you will be able to collect your questions as well okay so once again let me tell you you make use of this time in such a way that you distribute your time for this first i'll tell you what all the phenomena you have to study and second thing i'll show you some interesting uh, phenomena or uh, what is interesting videos related to certain phenomena expected by light then i'll brief you about the equations then questions based on board exam. So, I will tell you about I will talk to you about uh, board examinations and things like that on a later stage we will come to that. First let us see the different uh, phenomena exhibited by light. Now, very first thing what we have to have uh, know is about reflection. So, reflection is very common phenomena phenomenon exhibited by light. So, you can very well see the beautiful picture in which you can see the phenomenon of reflection of light. So, you have to study about reflection. This is another picture that illustrates the phenomenon of reflection. See, this is the second phenomenon exhibited by phenomenon exhibited by light. What is it called? This is refraction. This is the second one. In refraction, you can very well see that uh, the refracted image you will see. What is actually what is refraction? In fact, is that phenomenon by which the light rays bend when enters from one medium to another. So here, light is entering from air to water or going from water to air. There will be deviation. This is what is this phenomenon is what is called refraction. This is what is uh, illustrated in the picture. That's refraction. This is another case very common phenomenon you might, might, might be observing about refraction you know when a when a uh, scale or a pencil or a spoon if it is kept immersed uh, you know it is appeared to be bent okay that is another phenomenon. This in fact ref refraction see first I said reflection then refraction refraction only is what is actually leading to a phenomenon called total internal reflection you can we will see how the phenomenon is 
see the light is you just uh, observe the picture the light is going from water to air denser to rarer medium at specific angles if it is entering if it is striking it would not refract it would not go out of the medium instead it would be reflected back so you can next picture also you can see a beautiful example of a refraction you know refraction is uh, sorry total internal reflection this phenomenon is total internal reflection so refraction leads to total internal reflection see in total internal reflection we know very well we make use of in optical fibers in optical fiber transmission the total internal reflection is made use of see another beautiful example of total internal reflection see the person is coming out of the out of water but the uh, totally ref internally reflected image you can see okay so total reflection is another part of refraction so once again i mentioned about reflection then i mentioned about refraction refraction can lead to total internal reflection which is what is made use of in optical fiber communication right i have uh, uh, i showed you one of the uh, pictures uh, related to optical fiber communication in optical fiber it's very commonly used these days so there we make use of a very special property exhibited by any sort of waves that is called total internal reflection okay there are certain uh, specific conditions i think uh, you must be knowing the 12th standard students what are the conditions for total internal reflection to happen first one the ray should go from denser medium to a rarer medium second one the angle of incidence should be greater than the critical angle right these two uh, conditions if satisfied you can very well say that total internal reflection occurs right now look at this total internal reflection another uh, example you can see on the screen for total internal reflection it's again a very common device we use uh, for the uh, in displays and all in showcase and all we keep that is again optical fibers a bundle of optical fibers you can see in the picture then another interesting or beautiful phenomena phenomenon exhibited by light as a result of refraction is dispersion when light is white, white light is passing through a prism it splits into seven colors this is dispersion so dispersion only is what is leading to so the beautiful phenomenon of this what is dispersion right and this is you can very well make out one thing when white light is passing through a prism you see the violet light deviates maximum so if you know the answer to why violet light is deviating maximum you can very well call us and say what exactly is and i am giving it as a i am throwing it as a question to you why violet light is deviating maximum red light deviates minimum when passing through a uh, prism so if you know the answer you pick up your phone dial in the number displayed and uh, call us and say okay why violet is deviated maximum red is deviated minimum when passing through represent the correct answer i want to see okay you uh, just tell me what exactly uh, what do you know as the right answer to this okay so we'll find out if, if any problem there we'll refine the answer okay then dispersion phenomenon is what is leading to the very beautiful phenomenon of uh, that's happening in nature that is rainbow rainbow is a very beautiful example of dispersion you can see the white the the bottom most part is violet and the top most part is red okay the seven colors are distributed like this another rainbow okay so that is about rainbow and you know there is sometimes uh, two rainbows some of you might have observed that two rainbows are seen one closer to the other you know the second rainbow is what is called secondary rainbow which is let uh, in fact uh, fainter than the uh, first one you know primary rainbow and second rainbow there is a very uh, big difference there between the two you can very well uh, make out from the diagram secondary rainbow violet will come at the top and red will be at the bottom just opposite to what is there in primary rainbow in heavy rainy season and all sometimes you may see the uh, second rainbow phenomenon okay these all are detailed description required you know rainbows so in short we can say rainbow is due to the dispersion of white light passing through the you know tiny droplets of water present that atmosphere the droplets of water uh, you know behave like very tiny prisms okay i hope you understood so again i had mentioned the basic phenomena exhibited by light reflection 
refraction that leads to what total internal reflection and dispersion ok. After that we had mentioned about the applications of those uh, coming in what is optical fibers and then I uh, mentioned about uh, rainbow and uh, things like that. All these phenomena we are discussing all these processes we are discussing in the chapter ray optics because all these phenomena can be explained based on the rectilinear propagation of light or we can also say that uh, Newton's corpuscular theory of light can be made use of to explain this. There are certain other phenomena which we do in the chapter wave optics cannot be explained based on the Newton's corpuscular theory. We will men mention about those phenomena after a short break we will mention about that, but at the same time let me tell you you find out what the answer to this that is when white light passes through a uh, prism why violet is deviated maximum and red is deviated minimum. What exactly is the answer to that you call us and say and uh, after the break we will come back to discuss something on the next chapter of wave optics then I will show you some interesting video as well. So, stay tuned we will go for a very short break. <laughs>